Hey everyone, how you doing? Wade here, NFL in London. Joining me, Will Gavin, Ryan Cull, Edo Delamonte. Now, this is a little segment uh, for week three we call Pick, Avoid, and Hide. One player you pick, one player you avoid, and one player you hide from the other people because he's so good. Now, I wish I would have you know, learned a lot of this last week because my guys I chose sucked. Uh, but let's find out this week from these guys. Edo, give me your pick, your avoid, and your hide. Who do you got? My pick is Amari Cooper, because I'm still not convinced by this Tennessee defense. Oh, who knew that getting rid of Dick LeBeau would be good for Pittsburgh? And oh, congratulations, Titans. So Amari Cooper, I think he's a lock. Derek Carr's got a connection with him, and this is going to be his breakout game. He's 7,700, so it's a good price. Uh, our second man, your avoid, Alan Robinson. Hate to Ooh. say this. Okay. I actually don't mind Baltimore secondary. I actually think, oh, you know, you got Smith, you, you got Webb. It's, it's pretty. Eric Weddle. Oh. Yeah, your know, Weddle's not look bad. Uh, you know, so I hate to say this. I, I want to be wrong, but I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've got a problem with Jacksonville. Is that I don't think this is the game where they're going to be running, chasing Baltimore all that long. It will be closer than that. So I don't think there'll be all this garbage time throwing that we've seen Bortles do over the last couple of seasons. So Adam Robinson's my avoid. And my gem, Michael Floyd of Arizona. Okay. Because he's getting a lot of red zone looks. He's got five targets in there already. It's not as if Arizona have been super prolific. He's got two touchdowns in there, but he's amongst the highest in the league. I believe the highest have got six. So if he keeps getting in there and keeps getting the ball thrown to him, John Brown's been garbage so far. And he's only got about seven targets as well. Okay. So Michael Floyd's your boy. All right, Ryan, let's go to you. Your pick, your avoid, your hide. My pick is Derek Carr. Um, I think when you're giving up 1,000 yards, your defense, you gotta, you're going to uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to get some points somewhere. And Derek Carr is going to have to put it on his shoulders. Uh, he's great. He's a great quarterback. He's, he's young. He's got that great rapport with Amari Cooper, just said. And I think he's just going to be unstoppable. And again, um, who they, who they, they're playing... Um, Tennessee. Tennessee. Tennessee, exactly. Oh. So it's a perfect time for Derek Carr to show. He's just all heart. I just love him. Yeah. Uh, right there. With my avoid, I go with Doug Baldwin. Uh, okay. I do not like Doug Baldwin. I don't like anyone. <laughs> as a human being. As a, no, as a person, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> right. I've never I don't like bought, the way he drives. I've never bought into him. <laughs> he's cheap. He won some people a fantasy title, and I think people are just still talking about that a couple, last year. Never pick up Doug Baldwin. Never pick that up Doug Baldwin. Fluke. That was a fluke, and I don't believe in him. I, I think Seattle. there's something seriously wrong with um, Russell Wilson. Right yeah. now, and I just don't trust it. And my final is uh, Benjamin on San Diego is my hide. Nice. Um, I just think again, like you say, Philip Rivers is going to be tossing it all over the place. But the great thing about Philip Rivers is he just spreads it everywhere. He's not one of those guys. He doesn't he have Catholic, a number yeah. one. He's never had a number one. Mm, I think his whole true. entire career, which is a real shame, because imagine what he could do. He's just going to move it around. He doesn't have Woodhead to chuck it up. So I think Benjamin is going to be that guy who just sneaks in that slot receiver who can burn some burn you deep a couple times. We saw him do that in Cleveland. He's a he's a boomer bust player, but when he hits, he can hit your big points. All mm. right, Will Gavin, who oh. is your pick and your, avo your avoid in your head? Talking about the San Diego offense, my pick is Melvin Gordon, 5,800. He's got 177 yards and three touchdowns from scrimmage so far this year. Do you know how much the Colts have given up against running backs so far? A lot. 391 <laughs> yards and five touchdowns. <laughs> If that's not yeah. a great match, look, there are three things in fantasy that you want. You want matchup, opportunity, and talent, and he's got all three of those in abundance this week. My avoid, and I'm sorry, my friend, it Please is do. Go the ahead. Vikings backfield in time. All right. Because of the fact you're going to get that Asiata goal line split, you're going to get the Jarrett McKinnon getting the bulk of the work. All right, Jarrett McKinnon might get you 60, 65 yards and a few points in the flex, but I think he's going to be that really popular pick this year, and I just don't fancy him at all. My hide is Philip Dorsett. Okay. T.Y. Hilton is going to be going up against Jason Verrett, who's one of the best cover corners yep. in the league and travels with the number one receiver, unlike Josh Norman. Mm. And so, Philip Dorsett, I just said it, is about opportunity. Dante Moncrief goes down. He's going to be the guy who's going to be wide open. He's also on my team that you chose as well. That's very nice. All right, you can make your own picks, guys. Go to DraftKings.co.uk. Hit forward slash hippo. Play along in the Hippodrome contest this weekend. Win two tickets to the international game. You can win big. Come see us Sunday at the Hippodrome Casino in Leicester Square. Welcome to the big time.